Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick RAC006 titled Setting Project Elevation. The purpose of the tip and trick is to enhance your skills and share with you solutions to problems that other users experience. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk then please contact customer services on 01784 419911 or email customer.services at cadline.co.uk. All of our tips and tricks can be found on our website which is www.cadline.co.uk. Please remember that we are issuing tips and tricks for all Autodesk products as well as the one you're about to watch. Okay, so we're going to take a look at setting the elevation of our project within this tip and trick. Um, this is something that generally people find they have a problem with because they don't often set up the elevation of their of their project straight away. To do this, it's very simple. What we're going to do, I'm going to go into my one of my elevations at this point. Now we've just set by default the levels to be at zero. Level one is then going to be at three meters, and level two then at six meters. So we're going to change this to the actual above sea level heights. So in this, all I'm going to do is go into my tools click on shared coordinates and I'm going to click on specify coordinates at a point. When I click on that, I'm able to click on any one of my level lines. So for example, if I click on level zero, like so, this will now allow me to put in a value for my elevation. So I'm just going to put in a value here of 30,000 millimeters. So 30 meters. If I now click OK, like so, and we at this moment in time we don't see any change in this. We're able to work to the levels that we first specified. But now we can then take this one step further and say, well, now I actually want to see the actual elevational heights um, according to real world terms. So in this case, all I'm doing is going to click on my level zero marker, go up to our element properties, and I'm just going to click on edit new. Now within here we've got elevation base and we've got project or shared. If I click on shared and click OK and then click OK again, we now find we've got the true real world values for our elevation markers. Again, if we want to change that back, just click on one of your level markers. It can be any one, doesn't have to be the same one. Again, go into element properties, edit new, and then just change it back to project. And click OK. And that is how you can set the elevation of your model within Revit.